I guess no one knows what their last words will be. Sal traced a finger across the scar over her eye, her eyes fixed on some distant spot beyond the walls of her cell. But I know mine won't be cursing. She clicked her tongue. I'll tell you what you want to know, madam, about Lowstaff, about Caverick, everything. I'll give you everything you want, and you can put a bullet in my head or cut it off or have me torn apart by birds. I won't protest. All I ask is one thing. Tread a tensed and reach for her saber as Sal leaned across the table, and a grin as long and sharp as a blade etched itself across her face. Remember my last words. On today's Honest Review, I'll be talking about Seven Blades in Black, the first book in the Grave of Empires series by Sam Sykes. The story is told from the point of view of our main character, Sal the Cacophony, as she retells her tale to her current captor. It's very over the top in its use of language and metaphors, and I like to think this is mainly because Sal is such a huge fan of opera and loves being dramatic, so when she wants to describe things, she does it with gusto. There's a ton of neat world building as the story takes us all across the wounded land of the Scar, and through it all, the Scar does feel like a character on its own right. The book deals with some very serious themes and is a running motif of scars. As I just mentioned, even the collective area that the events of the book take place in is called the Scar. It also really touches on how deep scars can run. Sal's bloody personal war takes place in the middle of the even more blood-soaked war between the Imperium, a collection of regal mages who can kill you with their mind, and the Revolution, a heavily militarized people who can just as easily kill you with the destructive machines of war. The dialogue is incredibly witty and fun, and also quite mean, but to be fair and honest, some of my most favorite moments, some of the moments I thought were the most powerful in the entire book were when characters were left speechless and had nothing to say. Characters are very expressive and have central identities that really shine through the dialogue. Sal doesn't shut her trap throughout the majority of this book, so the few moments where there's a pause, where she doesn't have a witty retort, where a character drops the facade and can't be sarcastic, and that just a silence creeps in, those are fantastic. Getting into characters and speaking of Sal, Sal is easily one of my favorite literature heroes to date, and not just because she's a totally kick-ass wielder of a big-ass gun in the shape of a dragon that shoots explosions, which is pretty cool at, at that point, but also because like the other characters present in the book, she is unapologetically human. While Sal sees herself as an endless expanse of sexy wit on two legs, to the outside world, Sal is a walking collection of scars that leaves only ruin in her wake. And at point, Sal worries that that truly may be all she is. This is not a story of good guys and shining armor where the hero wins and it's a clean, happy ending. Sal is a broken wanderer that behind the proud grins, the heaps of curses, and mouthful of dirty jokes has killed hundreds and would kill hundreds more to get what she wants. This is a dark and at times gruesome tale of blood, betrayal, and brutality but also one of love, growth, and standing back up after being beaten bloody. So while Sal may never ask us to forgive her, she secretly hopes we'll at least try to. I won't really speak too much about the other characters present. I don't want to speak too much about the book overall because I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it and I don't want to take away the, the really good feeling that is discovering these characters and the, and the plot and all the twists and turns on your own, um, but I really enjoyed all the other characters present, and even some of the side characters were really fun and really well written, really well done. Um, I really, really enjoyed a lot of things about this book. Now, as I've shown, it's not really a secret that I love this book, but Honestly, it's mainly because between all the giant birds, the elemental mages, the revolutionary relics made of living stone that tear those foolish enough to impede it to shreds, and of course between the big ass gun that shoots explosions, there lies true passion and heart that really resonated with me. And I'm really glad to have found it on accident on Twitter. But those are just my thoughts. What did everyone else think? 
This is the part of Honest Review where I'm going to go through and I'm going to do what I like to call Mob or Martyr. We're going to take a look at the overall reviews of the book in this case, and we'll see if my views line up with the common mob or if I'm martyred on my opinions. Right now on Amazon where I bought the book from, it sits about at a 4.6 out of 5 on custom reviews, about 370 global ratings. So 73% of those are 5 star reviews alone. And the 3 star and below reviews end up being a whole, let's see, 9% of the overall reviews on Amazon. And as I was looking around, the overall what I saw was about 4 to 4.5 on average. And I think that's awesome. Um, I think it's a really, really good book. And I'm glad that it seems to be getting the recognition that... I think it deserves. So what are the things that people most seem to like about them? So for the pros, we've got cool characters. We've got an interesting magic system, um, which I won't spoil anything about, but it's really cool. Uh, Sal, obviously. Uh, it has fun writing and really good world building, which I agree with all those. I like all those. And for the cons, we've got uninteresting characters. Uh, too long due to pacing issues. Sal again. I can understand that. And they, some people thought that the book was really repetitive, right? I didn't really have this problem, but uh, I can kind of see how Sal's way of describing the story or how she retells the story, it can get kind of repetitive. So I know where they're coming from. However, obviously I don't share the opinions of the characters being interesting because I love the characters. I didn't think the book was too long. I actually like slow burns and I like um, having a lot on my hands. So I liked reading this book cover to cover and I, I did it again recently so and Sal being a con is honestly unsurprising just because I think Sal sometimes may be one of those you love her or you hate her type of characters but I love Sal I think Sal is super intriguing and super interesting and I'm really looking forward to see where Sal will go from here that's pretty much it for this honest review. It was nice, short, and sweet. I just recently reread the book in preparation for the second one, and I felt like I wanted to talk about it. I really enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you've checked out the book. Let me know if you will now due to this. I really appreciate it. Take care of yourself. Have a good one. I'll see you next time. Peace out.